Welcome to another Igloo Engine tutorial. This is on isometric grid patterns. It's a really simple tutorial. Some people have done other videos on this and made it a lot more complicated than it needs to be. But if you want to follow along, this artboard is a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. So to file, new, and a thousand by a thousand. Hit create. So let's get rid of this to start off with. And we're going to zoom out a bit. First thing we need to do is select the line tool, which is up here, line segment tool. And then you want a, a stroke color of just black. And off the artboard, you're just gonna click and hold down shift. So it goes in a straight line and then let go. And that's what you'll end up with, one line. The stroke weight should be one pixel by default. If it isn't, you can just change it to that. And then press V and select your line. And if you hold down alt, you'll see the cursor change to a double cursor as you roll over it, a black and white cursor. So if I just click and drag, that copies the line. But what we wanna do is press Alt and Shift, click and hold and drag it along, just a little bit, not too much. The exact dimensions don't really matter. And then we wanna duplicate this a ton of times. So if we press Command and D, it'll do it once. If you press Command and hold D down, it'll do it a ton of times. Keep going until you've got about that many. Doesn't really matter, but just a lot more than is gonna cover that artboard. And then with V selected, select them all. Press Command G, which groups them all together. So they all move as one now. And then V and select it. And you're gonna press Command C, which is copy. Then Command Shift V, which is paste in place. You can't see it, but it is there. You still can't see it, I moved it. There you go, okay. So, Command Shift, Command Shift V, paste in place. And then under the Reflect tool, you've got your Rotate tool. So you double click that, and you want it to be 60 degrees. If you haven't got Preview on, then just hit Preview, and you'll see it's rotated the whole block 60 degrees, and hit OK. And then same thing again, copy and paste in place. So Command C, Command Shift V, and then underneath that rotate, you want to hold it down and you want the reflect tool. Double click that. Again, if preview's off, click it on and you want it vertical, 90 degrees vertical. Um, and hit OK. Now, select V and just drag over all of them. And up here with a line, you want a line to artboard and you want the horizontal and then the vertical. Now this time it's worked perfectly but if you ended up with something, I'm just gonna delete one of these lines. If you ended up with something like this, and you had weird sort of hexagon shapes and triangles instead, don't worry, you've just got one too many vertical lines. So with the A direct select tool, just grab one of them and delete it, and then grab all of them and align vertically and horizontally again, and you'll get isometric triangles. Now look at the edges, it's not quite lined up to the edge of the artboard, so if you just select everything with Command A, and then press V, and just go to your edge bounding box there, and as you move it, hold Alt and Shift, and you can move it to the size you want. So you want a fairly small pattern, and I want it to line up two vertical lines, one there on the edge and one there. And that's about right there. So if I zoom in, you can see I'm, I'm lined up on the upboard. If you press Command Y, it's just a little bit out, but it's gonna do for this demonstration. So zoom back out, and we're not quite finished. We wanna unite all these lines so we can change them whatever color we want. We can still do that now. If you select, you can just change the stroke color to whatever you want, and that's fine. But if you wanna resize and, and keep these sort of dimensions. Select everything and go up to object and expand. And fill and stroke, it just needs to be stroke. Um, and click OK. Now what we've got there is it's changed from the stroke to the fill color. So that means it is now not an active path, it is just a shape. So what we want to do is unite all these shapes. So select everything 
under Pathfinder, if you can't see it, just go up to Windows and down to Pathfinder. And the first one there is Unite. So click that. And now what it's done is make one solid object. And change that whole object all in one go to whatever color you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop out this um, these edges. You can do a, um, a mask, but I prefer to actually just chop them away. So go up here and select the rectangle tool, shortcuts M, and click and hold Shift. That will make it into a square. And then you've got the transform box over here. If you've got them linked with the um, constraint width and height, just go and click width and type in a thousand and hit enter. And then you've got the align to artboard again, align to central, align to vertical. And what you've done there is create something that's going to help you chop them out. So now select everything, command A, and go back to Pathfinder. And the third one along is intercept. And then you want to hit that. And what that's done is chop everything away. There's no lazy paths left outside. There's no mask. It is just chopped to the artboard. And that means now you can, if we draw another box, a thousand, same way as before, right artboard. We're going to drop this to the back and press Command Shift and one of the square brackets and that'll push it to the back. Let's see if I've done that right. And then you can select the front colour and make it whatever you want it to be. Just a slight pop of orange colour on the red. And that's it. If that was helpful, click like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.